Hey guys, it's Tasha. I'm coming to you really fast with this video, and it's about nail polishes. But before we get started, let me show you my little beach scene I created. There it is. I bought those Oceanside Bath and Body Works candles, and for some reason I just was thinking beach. I wonder why Oceanside. Hmm. So I kind of created my own little beach and my DIY apothecary jars and I think it's cute. It didn't come out exactly like I was hoping but it's okay. What I want to discuss with you guys is polish. Now I think I may be the only person on the planet who didn't know that you had to put a white base on under the neon polishes well the, old, the neon polishes of the olden day to make them look neon. So with that being said, I picked up this polish first. And I just picked it up. This is spoiled. I just picked it up because I want to try to do some accent nails. And I got this one from CVS. I wind up at Rite Aid where I got the Julie G. White. And right next to it were these sinful colors polishes. Which are very pretty in the bottle. Now, I've been looking at Coffee Break with Danny, and I think her name is, the her YouTube name is Perfectly Polished, or it's something along that line. And I'll put both of their uh, videos, or links to their neon polish videos in the bottom bar, so you can see what I'm talking about. So, I decided that I would try it. And the thing about this is, I did not know this fingernail polish was so sheer. You, can, if to me, if you can open it up, and let me, them, I don't want to hit it. There we go. You can open it up and see the brush. It's a very sheer formula. I can open up this Julie G polish. Absolutely no brush, nothing. So that's a very opaque polish. But back to what I was talking about. Like I said, I did not know that you were supposed to do that, so I tried it. Well, first first of all, I put this polish on my toes, and it was horrible. It was, like, dead. I don't think I could describe this dead. I'm like, what the world? So, I went and did the white base with the polish, and it's beautiful like that. But I'm not the one that wants to go through a two-step process to get the color. But I wanted you to see, and I hope this thing focuses right. I want you to see what I was talking about. Now I got white base on half the nail and no base on the other half. And if you can see that the side that I'm showing that's facing you right now is the no white base. And that side is the white base. Can you tell the difference? No base white base and that spoil polish that's two coats those spoil polishes are off the chain they are great so I just wanted to show you guys that and my little beach scene today but I will not more than likely I will not be purchasing sinful colors again at least not their like their bright their brights I'm going to have to go back and look at the videos again to see which polishes Danny and I think her name is Nicole to see what polishes they recommend so that you don't have to do this two-step process with a white base in order to get the polish the same neon color that's in the bottom okay guys that's it and I'm gonna leave you guys with a little snippet of my beach scene okay you guys have a good evening bye bye now